Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this coming step, you're going to be gluing the launch lug onto the S4B stage. Now before you do that, I've discovered that I would like the launch lug positioned in a different location. So the videos show putting on the launch lug in the wrong location. We're actually going to put it on two or a one quarter turn over here on the rocket. So don't put the launch lug on yet. We'll put it on later after we build the bottom of part of the rocket. The reason for this, this rocket was built where the launch lug is between a black and a white so it has a black on the bottom, white on the top. What we want to do is to move it over here to this position so that the launch lug can be just white. Uh, it makes masking a lot easier. And so we're just going to run the launch lug right here. So go ahead and just pause and come back to attaching the launch lug later, but know that we're going to be one quarter turn on the rocket in a different location. This step is about putting on the launch lug. If you're building this as a static model, not intending to fly it, you can skip this step. So we want to take from the kit, we want to take the launch lug and this spruce strip. Um, make sure you got the launch lug and not the little tube that goes onto the launch tower. Um, this one right here. They look to be about the same size, but this one's a little bit bigger. Um, if you place the tubes onto the uh, escape motor right here, you'll find the right size. This one will be too small to fit. So that's how you tell the difference. Um, we're going to cut this in half because we're going to put half onto the S4B stage and then half on the lower part of the rocket. So you want to cut this in half. So you'll take a ruler. Um, my, my squares here are half inch, and I know these are three inches long, so here's my half. And take a pencil and mark it. And do the same for the spruce strip. Now the spruce strip, to cut this, we're going to use a razor saw, because it's a little bit hard to cut with a, with a knife. So you'll just Put the razor saw on it and just draw backwards and that's how you'll cut it. Be careful not to do uh, cut into your table so I always tilt it up a little bit once I am about halfway through and then turn it around and then just do the other side. Clean that up with uh, some sandpaper. I got some medium grit sandpaper right here. Just want to make it nice and smooth. And you you can sand the whole thing if you want. And do the same for the other piece. And then for the launch lug itself, we're going to use a sharp razor blade. I had one here. And this you can also use like a little sawing motion. Uh, you just need to get it started. Uh, just be careful that it's not tilted one way or the other. Um, otherwise you're, you're going to have to do some more sanding to make it nice and square on the end. So you'll feel it once it starts cutting through. Okay, so now I'm, I've broken through the surface and now it's, you'll feel it cutting real easy. Do this like that. 
and that end is not perfectly square, so you can take your sandpaper and then as you're sanding, rotate it around to make it that edge nice and square. And then chamfer off the little little pieces that stick over the edge. This is the end that was cut by the factory, and that's pretty good. So we'll do that same thing with this side. Um, and then we're going to take these, and we're going to glue these onto the spruce strips like that. And after that, I'm just going to use wood glue. And I'll just put some wood glue along here. Doesn't take much. Smear it around. Slide it in there. And you want to look at the ends. Look down the on both ends to make sure it's it's centered right in the middle of the spruce strip. So that looks pretty good. Oops, I just moved it. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside to dry. Um, I've got a couple here that I've already made up, so these are already dry. Now these are going to get glued here on the S4B stage. So here's the bottom part, here's the top. Um, here is position one. On the exact opposite side is position three. And it will also have this flat area that is kind of shaped like an arrow. So go flip it over and find it. Um, and then the launch lug is going to get glued a little bit further going clockwise, uh, but before this retro rocket right here. Um, right here on the retro rocket, you see this flat area. This is a camera target. Um, and the launch lug is going to go exactly in the middle of that. So imagine taking your pencil, and I'll just mark it here. So you're going to mark this thing, and it's going to go right forward of that. So take your aluminum angle, um, line it up here, and then draw a line onto the flat part of the rocket right there. Now, one of the things that you'll notice here on this rocket that's been painted is the launch lug, on this one, I put right up against the corrugations, and I should have moved it a little bit further forward just to make it easier to mask off. Um, it doesn't need to be exactly in this position. It can go anywhere in here that's on the flat area. So I would suggest moving it a little bit forward, maybe about a half of an inch, and that's what I'm going to do on this one here. So I'm just going to estimate right about right here. And then that's going to get glued right there. And again, for this, we'll just use wood glue. Now the other section of launch lug is going to get glued on the lower part of the rocket. Um, and you'll put that on as you're building that section. So. Go ahead and make sure it's glued up and then it's ready to go when you're ready to start that section. Okay, just make sure that it's nice and straight along there and in line with that middle of that camera target. Okay, and when everything's uh, glued up, then you're going to be ready to paint this. Um, and if you plan on painting this ahead of time, which is what I would do, um, I do, what I do is I take a wood dowel and some thick super glue and I'll just glue just a couple of little spots of glue and I'll just glue a dowel on the inside and just slap it up in there like that and that gives me a stick to hold this while I'm painting um, and then when you're done painting you can just you can just roll the dowel and it'll just snap right off um, so this makes it a little bit easier and convenient to paint.